But what are the risks of cataract surgery? Of course, that's a normal question to ask, and I don't mean to feel and downplay that because it is important. Your eye is a precious organ. It is very sensitive, and a lot of people are very sensitive around their eyes as well. But I will tell you, it is, again, highly resilient. And in today's modern cataract surgery, my spiel is that I say 99.5% of the time, everything goes exactly like we plan it's gonna go. There's no 100% in medicine, there's no 100% in life, and so I usually say 99.5% of the time from a safety standpoint, things will go exactly like we plan. The uh, things that I would visit with you about that are very uncommon to happen, um, things like retinal tears, retinal detachments, that's very uncommon. Something that cause harm to your vision or loss of vision from where you're at now, extremely, extremely unlikely. Um, infection is also very unlikely, but you are on medications in the form of drops to help with uh, fighting infection, as well as inflammation that we know we have from any surgery and eye surgery as well. I also tend to um, be very uh, particular about ocular surface or dry eye, so a lot of times we will pre and post treat with uh, lubrications or medications to help out with that. If you choose to go with an optimized lens that's helping out with distance, intermediate, and near, there are a few extra things that you need to know about post-op normals. Number one, uh, halos. Everybody after surgery, I don't care what lens you're gonna have, is gonna have some form of halos, potentially some mild glare. People that are going to choose that lens will have a little bit more of it for a slightly longer amount of time simply because of the technology. So when you see that lens, it is actually made of multiple rings. It is all these rings that allow you to have multiple variety in your vision. Those rings never really go away. And so they are in your eye when the light is coming specifically at nighttime, you may notice a few more halos around there. You're thinking, why would I want that? Let me tell you a little word called neuroadaptation. Neuroadaptation means that we actually get used to it. It becomes less, uh, less noticeable. It'll be less noticeable at one week, one month. And I would say 95 plus percent of people really get used to that over that first year where it doesn't really bother them that much anymore. The other thing I would let you know is that in about 5% of people that it does, when offered to have that lens removed and replaced with a single vision lens where they would lose all of this up here, most of them don't take them up on that because they love their near vision. Lastly, when we do optimized surgery, whether that is for distance or for distance and near, another thing you need to know is that even though we're doing so many things to create the best accuracy for that lens power style and type in your specific eye, but at the end of the day, it is, it is great technology, it is amazing, but when we put those things and those lenses in a human body, sometimes things microscopically end up in a slightly different spot than we choose, meaning you may have a slight bit of blur after surgery that we need to do something about. I will say less than, probably less than 25% of the time do we need to look at doing things called fine tunes or enhancements post-surgery, and that truly is just part of the refractive journey. Refractive meaning I'm trying to be less dependent upon my glasses. What we do is we typically allow that lens and the body to kind of acclimate to each other and get used to and stabilize over about the first three months or 90 days. At that time, if you are doing fabulous, which we hope you are, then we really don't need to do much more. But if there's any concern about quality vision, clarity of vision, those kind of things, of course, we always hone in on that ocular surface and dry eye, but we might be needing to do a little laser fine tune to your cornea. Remember, that was the window of your eye. So we don't need to go back in and do anything with the lens or adjust that, but sometimes we need to do a little bit of a laser fine tune to that cornea in order to crispen that vision just how we need it to work best for you.